हेलो एवरीवन इन टुडेज वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द प्रोटेक्शन एंड सिक्योरिटी टॉपिक ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इट इज़ अ वेरी थियोटिकल टॉपिक विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द एंटम टर्मिनल एग्जाम्स ऑफ यूनिवर्सिटी एंड कॉलेजेस सो वी आर सो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द थियोटिकल एक्सपेक्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स सो दैट यू कैन अटैम्प द क्वेश्चन इन योर एग्जाम सो फर्स्ट प्रोटेक्शन एंड सिक्योरिटी so protection and security are the techniques that are implemented to prevent interference with the use of files and these files can be both logical and physical files so if there is any kind of misbehave or mishappening with the resources or the files of the operating system then the techniques of protection and security should be implemented so that there is no damage to the system now there are two terms that we have seen one is protection and another is security see there are two different kinds of threats to any system one is internal threat and another is external threat so by internal threat we mean suppose there are five users u1 u2 u3 u4 and u5 and there are two resources r1 and r2 and since these all five users are internal to the operating system now suppose if U1 and U2 are allowed to access resource R1. Similarly, U3, U4, and U5 are allowed to access resource R2. So, in this manner, these two users can only access resource R1, and these three users can only access resource R2. But suppose if the user U3 tries to access the resource R1. then that comes under the protection technique because we have to implement certain access mechanism so that a legal or the legitimate users can only access a particular resource so the internal threats are dealt with protection technique so it is used to deal with the threats to information that are internal so all kind of threats that are internal to the system are handled by protection mechanism now this is uh, the internal threat now what is external threat external threat is like suppose there is a unintended user say x and this user tries to access both these resources r1 and r2 now since this user is external to the system there has to be some kind of security mechanism for example firewall that can block the access of this user to the internal resources so that comes under the security aspect so security is the technique that deals with the threat to information that are external to the system so it deals with external threats so the first difference between protection and security of an operating system is that protection deals with the threats that are internal to the system and security deals with the threats that are external to the system so now by protection what we are referring is we are referring a mechanism that is that can be used to control the access of the program processes or users to the resources defined by the operating system so in this you can also write that it is actually controlling or providing mechanism it is providing mechanism for controlling the access for controlling the access to program process 
user to a resource so ab access to a resource is controlled with the help of protection mechanism whereas security which is uh, which will be discussed in later in the tutorial series is used to Im uh, impart certain mechanisms that can prevent a malicious user from entering into our system so this can include certain things like firewall then encryption techniques etc so this is the basic about the protection and security now what are the goals of protection so as we have seen that protection is used to provide a access mechanism so the goal of protection is the first goal of protection is safe sharing of a common logical address or common physical address space now common logical address space we mean that directory of files so suppose if we have to share a directory of files among the users so that can be safely shared is one of the goal of the protection mechanism and by common physical address space we mean memory so if a user wants to share either directory of files or the memory then that can be safely shared with the protection mechanism then the next goal is fair and reliable resource usage now by that we mean that the program in a system resource can use a resource only in accordance with the policies stated for that particular process so for this we can take an example suppose there is a process p1 and p1 has been granted to use only printer so p1 at a time can use only printer it should not be like that p1 is using printer using scanner and other things so that will be unfair so a resource should be fairly used or reliably used with the help of protection mechanism so these are the two goals of protection now there are different domains of protection a computer system can be said it is a collection of process and objects so what we can have is that there are three different domains in which a protection mechanism can be implied first is the user so each user may be a domain in this case the set of objects that can be accessed depends on the identity of the user so for example if we have three users u1 u2 and u3 so each user has its own domain suppose u1 is allowed to use resource r1 u2 is allowed to use resource r2 and u3 is allowed to use resource r3 so each of this user is a domain and each domain has been given access to certain resources in this case r1 r2 and r3 now domain switching occurs when the user is changed so if the user is changed suppose user u1 is now changed to user u4 so what we are doing is we are switching the domain from u1 to u4 so domain switching may occur now a process can also be a domain similarly as we have used the user id as the identifier in this case in process the process id is used as the identifier and each process is like a domain now the uh, resources that can be accessed depends on the identity of the process which is done with the help of process id so in this case now the process ids are used to define the domain for example process p1 can access r1 r2 similarly process p2 can access r3 r4 so in this way the domain of the processes are defined in a same manner procedure can also be used as the domain now in this case the set of objects that can be accessed corresponds to the local variables defined within that procedure so now the variables that are defined in the procedures are used are used to 
control the access of the resource so in this you can write local variables are used to define the domain of the resource that can be used with this procedure so this is a brief about the protection and security goals of protection and the protection domain in the next video we are going to see the access matrix which is the most important point of this topic protection and security so keep tuned to my youtube channel thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more such tutorials thank you